Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. Today we are here to connect about the understanding the functionality called onboarding menu or we call it as a guide to in Angular 17. That functionality we are going to implement. So what is the meaning of that? So a guide tour can be a feature that guides user through different part of our application using the unique identifier. This can be useful for onboarding new user or showcasing a specific feature to our application. So this functionality we are going to implement today in the Angular 70. So what is the meaning of that? For an example, when you go on an application, in that application you see a guide tour like uh, this menu is work for that another menu is work for that so using the next name it do attune to that application so any new user come to that application it is very helpful for that person so how it works so let's understand what we are going to implement so we are going to implement applications such like this so here we are going to have menu and home about me and contact me so these are the devs i have created in the uh, html now um, what we are going to learn is for an example when i will land to see, see first time when i landing to my application we are going to see a menu or home menu this is home menu when i click on next it is taking us to the, another menu or we can see the day and when we click on this so it is so it is guiding us like which particular portion is helpful for what and when i click on end so it complete the guide for us so that application we are going to implement here so let's start implementing this application so currently i am like if you will see currently i am on angular 17 you can see this version so we are going to create the application in angular 17 so to create the application in angular 17 so we have to give a uh, name like ng new so what i am going to give guide tour in angular 70 so this is the uh, application name i'm going to give so it will take a few minutes and um, like the uh, couple of the questions it ask if you have created previously so you are aware of these things now otherwise if you are first time creating then it asks for the style sheet what kind of the style sheet so we have the css scss so uh, it depends on you which kind of the application you are going to create Another thing it is asking for the server side landing. Do you want to be enabled in your application? Uh, so I have given no. So it takes few minutes or the seconds basically to create this application. So let's wait until it complete this application. So here our application has created and I have opened that application in our Visual Studio code. Now you can see this is the path and currently let's serve this application. So once I will serve this application, let's see at first time how it is showing on the browser. So when I will go on the browser, you will see the application it's looking in this way. Now let's change the HTML as we wanted, like uh, the changes which I have uh, created for HTML. So let's go here and have component.html here we will change as we want. So I have already that HTML with me. If you want this HTML or this code, you can uh, go to the my uh, github uh, like a url and from there you can find this uh, project code and you can find that link in the description section as well so this is the html which i have put it here now if i will go in the browser it look like this for an example when i click on about contact and home it is moving me uh, according to the date so that i have created now the next thing like what we have to do we have to create the functionality of guide to or the onboarding to which we want to implement in this application so for that one what we have to do we have to install package called ngx ui tour md menu so this library we have to install in our application and before that like we have to uh, install the materials if you want to implement those materials then you can install those as well so let's first install this library so for that one let's go on the visual studio code again and here we will create so let's install that library so i'm uh, i'm given npm install ngx ui tool md menu so this is the library hit enter so you will see this library in a bit so now this library is going to install sometime what happened when we are going to install this library what there there's some error 
comes like it's not able to install that library so what we have to do we have to use the force as well like after this one just put the dash dash force and with that what it will do it will install your library in your application so angular 17 we know it's basically a component based application before angular 14 we used to have the modular based application means all the references which we have to do we have to use in the uh like in the module app module dot ps file but angular 17 or we can say the applications we create after the angular 14 all are the component based so component based means if you will go on any component you will see standalone is the true so we have to go accordingly like we have to use uh, these things as expected so for this one now what all are the steps we have to do you can see this is the package has installed so now another thing what we have to do now that uh, we have to take it in the import if we are using a modular based application or the version of angular less than the angular 14 what we have to do we have to use uh, like define that module uh, called pure mat menu module in the app module ts file otherwise we have to uh, uh, like uh, call it here so pure mat menu module so here we have to define it and you can see it is coming from this library so this uh, we have to import it here now another thing what we have to do so here what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this title in this not needed another thing is we have to inject the tour service so public read only and here let's give tour service this variable name i'm taking and here so let's minimize it so tour service and here what i'm going to do i'm going to inject and what i'm going to inject i'm going to inject tour service so this will help like now this tour service is basically will help us to tour to the application so this is the first thing now another thing what we have to do we have to define our stacks so how we define so read only and here we have to define the tour steps and here what i'm going to do i'm going to create no, type of this is tour step option so this if you will see it comes from the same library called ngx ui tour md menu so from the same library it comes and we have to give many steps so we have to make it the array type and let's define the values so now here what i'm going to do first i'm going to create the anchor id so this is basically kind of a unique id so i'm going to give the name these should be unique so home and another content what any content if you want to give you can give like so this is home menu so this i'm going to give here another thing if you want to give any title you can give the home menu so these things i have given now similar way i'll copy and i will do it for uh, like about and contact us also so this is for home this is i'm going to give out and here about and let's make it about and here contact and here i'm writing contact and contact so what i have done so far i have injected the tour service first then i have created all the steps um, the type of this is i step option that comes from the same library i have defined the value so these things i have defined it now next what we have to do so after all these things what we have to define is on ng on ng on in it we have to call it like we have to initialize it the type of this is like written type is the void now what i'm going to do this dot tour service dot initialize now what i have to initialize i have to initialize all those steps which i have defined here so these steps and then another variable is step default so that i have i'm giving as in uh, like empty 
So this I have defined here. So on here, ng on init, I have defined all these things. Now the next thing what we have to do, we have to define all this now in our HTML side. Like here we have defined all the steps and ng on init, we are initializing all the steps which we have defined here. Now in the HTML side, what we have to do, we have to define the steps. For an example, now currently on the home, you will see on the div we are going to show. Now it depends on you on if you want to show it on the button or somewhere. It depends on your functionality, how you want to guide the tool to the users. So here I'm going to guide according to the like I'm having. For an example here, I want to show on these all are the tips which I'm having. I have to guide through this. So first, like this is the home, like this will be my first point of contact for the guide tool. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the click event here and for this one i'm going to create a one method that click event and what i'm going to define it as a start to so this method i have to define it here so this through this method what we have to do we have to start our service here so now this dot to service dot start so this service i'm going to start from here now the next thing like this i have done we what next thing what we have to do we have to define the pure anchor so this is important this will be the unique so here i am given define it your anchor as a home because this is the name which we have given now for about what the tour anchor we have given as in about similar way we have defined for contact so this is the another step like we have to define the tour anchor and for home we have to define the click event as well now the next thing what we have to do we have to define here a template that is the tour step template so this is the template which we have to define so if you know about the router outlet so basically what happened router outlet it's kind of a work as a placeholder like any other skin come on that so similar way this tool step template it also come from the same library and what it do like whatever the menu the guide tool menu comes it sit here so when i will uh, let's save this and let's put here ng serve so what it will do it will serve this application and then we will see uh, like how it is working or not so currently it is building so let's wait for a few seconds and it is completed. Let's go on the browser. Let's refresh it. And when you will see here on the home, when I click on the home, now we can see like uh, when we come on this page, we, we are not able to see the guide to menus. When you will click even any of them, it is not coming. So let's go to the inspect element. And here you will see it is giving us error and what error it is saying it is saying unexpected synthetic listener transform menu like related to the any animation it is not uh, uh, like uh, giving us anything so we have to do the configuration so for that one let's go to the visual studio code and here in the app config.ts file here what we have to do we have to do the configuration and what is that like we have to use this provide animation async and it comes from this library so when you will go here first let's reload it so what we are going to do we are going to use the provide animation async and it come from the animation library now what is that method name that is the provide animation async so that we have to use it here so that is the first thing which we have to do to get rid of that issue the error which we are coming but uh, like when we come on this application when i click on this one you can see like it is showing us the menu bar now for an example next next and and it is like showing those uh, data like the basically the tool which we are going to uh, have it here and it is working as expected for an example like, like again if i will uh, give when i click on this then only we are seeing this uh, like the navigations uh, or the other uh, tool which we are having now you are seeing here for an example when i click on any menu 
we, we are seeing the outline one means it is highlighting and how it is working so the reason of this is basically in the ts file we have done enable uh, backdrop as a true so this enable back uh, backdrop true is basically provide us as in like uh, highlighted mode now for an example for about one i remove it like i'm not giving this one and if you will go on the browser and when you will click up for home it is giving like as in uh, like highlighted when i will click on next for home uh, like sorry for about we are not seeing that because we have removed that uh, property and for the next like for contact me again it is giving and we are giving on end the another thing here we have to remember like in app config file we have given this thing next thing what we have to focus on the style.css sometime what happened like let me get rid of this css when i will come on the browser and when i will refresh it you can see like it is highlighting but it is not showing that those menu and you will see those menu is basically coming at the last here context menu and the reason of this one when you will inspect element here it will say could not find the angular material core theme so uh, like if you are getting that uh, like uh, this issue so we have to import it uh, from this library called uh, deep purple amber css and that is the first thing another angular dot json you can import here means here also as well but in the style css it should be so when i will uh, save this one and go on the browser what we will see let's reload it so when you will see we can see this command here and we are not see, uh, seeing any material issue so that is the first thing now when i load on this application and what we have given if you will go on the html side here we have given the click event means when i click only it is starting the tour for me but what i want when i come on means when i land on this page only it should start from here like it should highlight it for me so for that one what we have to do we have to call this start tour after the initialization here for an example this dot start tour if i will do when i run this application at point of this time now you will see there is one issue it is giving me this thing like uh, when i will land on this page it is giving us like next next and end but when i click on that end you can see it is not closing for us and the reason is it is like currently in the state of the initialization like uh, for an example what i'm saying it is currently in the initialization so what we have to tell this wait for some second and then start it and by that time i'll make it as in true for this also now we have to do the set timeout here so here we have to do the set timeout on the ng on init so what is the code like this is the start to set timeout and i'm giving some second to do this now let's save this go on the browser again and on the by default you can see home menu click on next it is giving about me click next and when i will click on end you can see our tool is completed again if you want to test you can do this now if i will click on this here also we have the same functionality because on click event we are doing so this is the way the guide tour or the onboarding tour is working as expected so so far what uh, things we have done so first we have injected like we have installed this library you can get that uh, command in the description section as well then we have imported the tour main met menu model if you are using the modular base uh, application or the angular application which is version less than 14 you have to do the module in the app module.es file since it is an standalone we have to define it here then we have to inject this service and then we have to define the steps and then we have to start the tour and here we have to initialize it another thing here wherever you want either on the button dev or span anywhere so you have to define the tour anchor all those things we have to define like how it will be processed and if you are getting some error related to the animation or something app configuration file you have to import this from this library another you have to define the style the css if you are getting any material uh, css kind of an issue so this is the way it is working so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you